Hey guys, welcome to episode 12. Just making a quick update video. This is the one I've been waiting for here. Just got this shipment in and uh, do a little unboxing here. Uh, these guys have been in here for a full 24 hours coming from California. difference so uh, I am gonna have to keep an eye on these guys make sure the bigger ones don't pick on the little ones um, let's see if I can get a close-up of these guys These came from Jonathan Helms. Highly recommended. One of the best uh, Diamondback Terrapin breeders in the United States. These are four of his 2011 concentric hatchlings. And uh, they all look healthy. They made a mess out of this uh, Tupperware, but I think they're ready to go in the water. So let me, let me put them in the water one at a time here. He's climbing already. Checking things out. Alright, here comes number two. So careful with them. They're so small. <clears throat> I want to see what the first interaction is going to be like between the big ones and the little ones. Jeez, I can't believe these are only a month or two older than these guys. They grow so quick when they're little. Here's number three. All of these guys look stunning. I can't believe it. The pictures that Jonathan posts do not do these guys justice. Here's number four. I was towards the end of his uh, waiting list this year, so I wasn't sure if I was going to get the ones that I wanted, but uh, all of these guys blow me away, way beyond what I expected. I chose them for their light shell color, number one. And all four of them have a, a pretty light shell color. Uh, you can see that when they when they go under the light. And then uh, the next thing I looked for were their perfect scutes. I wanted to make sure their shells are in good shape. And then uh, look at him. I uh, I wanted to make sure they had a real crisp black and white pattern on their face. Um, I went for uh, concentric markings over over uh, dots. Uh, and uh, then 
lastly, uh, I wanted to make sure that their uh, their shell pattern um, was uh, nice and clean. Uh, some of them have high black markings, and I don't I don't find that very attractive. This this guy over here is the only one who's like hanging out above land. <laughs> I don't know why he doesn't want to go in the water. Come here, little guy. Friends are in the water. Look at him. There's one little one down there in the corner. I don't know if he's met the big ones yet. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned this yet, but the uh, the larger ones are named Timon and Pumbaa. Oh, look at that. They seem like they're getting along. Or they're just completely oblivious of one another. Uh, I'm not in charge of the, the turtle naming, but I like the names. So, we'll see. Um, these two are actually really, really similar. It took me a couple weeks to to be able to tell them apart, and it's it's just the difference of one or two markings. I'm gonna hang out for a little while and uh, check this guy out because he doesn't he doesn't seem like he wants to stay in the water. I don't know why that is, but uh, I'll let him chill out here for a few minutes. And uh, when they seem comfortable, I'll see about trying to feed them. Hopefully, separately. Uh, because I don't want them to compete with the larger ones for right now. But, everything looks good. I do need to clean this glass. There's plenty of brown algae that's growing. As you can see, my background's already covered with it. Um, I'll do a water change later today. But, just wanted to make a quick video showing the introduction of the four new babies. I've got six hatchlings in here total. We'll see how they do. Oh, there it goes. Stay in the water, buddy. They're so small. I just scared one of them. But, they seem like they're getting along, they seem like they're happy and healthy. It's going to be a matter of uh, cleaning their tank a little bit, getting them fed, getting them adjusted, and they should be good. I want to make sure they don't get trapped in there. Yeah, I might need to, might need to pop something else in there so they don't get stuck. But they're already exploring. So, alright, that's it for now, guys.